Hello, my fierce Graffin family. It's Father Graffin here, and welcome back to another adventure with me. And welcome back to Stormworks. Now, here we have, actually, believe it or not, one of my creations. Oh, what? <laughs> this is the SS Savannah. This was the first steamship ever to cross the Atlantic Ocean. While wow, there are other ships that cross the Atlantic Ocean. This is for steamship. It's got a funnel. A a bit funnel, rather. Um, never mind that. Little thing, pretend that doesn't exist. And you also got your stern as well. I forgot to add some detailing there, or a lot of detailing never existed. And the depth problem, it does go a little bit lower than my likings, but it does. When you kind of look at, like, this perspective, it's not bad. I've seen worse, but, you yeah, know. And you got paddles. However, though, because of the paddles, they don't really make ships go that as fast as the propellers do, so this does only go like three knots. It's supposed to go nine to ten knots. So I do apologize for how slow it goes, but I, I didn't totally I totally didn't move it. I was messing with the edit size of I was messing with the my workbench size um a little bit. And this happened, so you might have to if you get this boat, you might have to make a custom mission. Um, for yourself, I do apologize. Um, either it's too big, or maybe it's too out of the workbench. Anyhow, though, oh, this thing crossed the Atlantic Ocean in 1819, and sadly, um, caught fire one time and was reduced to only sails, and then was later on wrecked in Long Island in 1821. Now, after only two years of service, and her interiors were said to be. Um, rather yacht-like. Now, there is a way you can get on this thing. Just, like, jump on this paddle, it, and then get on there. It's possible, just so you know. Anyhow, let's get on with this thing. So, we are in, in the crew-only room. This is the steam palace. First, we got to turn this on, because the boiler. It's the first time I ever added an actual boiler. Please make sure to open this door if you don't one explosion because it actually activates the pumps um just so you know and then you turn that that's your quote-unquote throttle for the boiler and then fire the boiler as you can see we're producing power it's actually a generator there's no propellers whatsoever although it's gonna make the ship go a bit slower then you turn on these steam valves which they don't actually move the paddles, but the paddles do move, but they don't move the paddles, obviously. Um, that'd be kind of cool though, if we did get to, and I need to fix that. And look at that, as you may see, we are moving. Oh my goodness. Yes, this thing looks very lovely. The rigging, details, all that jazz. Blah 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 blah. I think this is the best ship I've made, like, honestly. I even made this lifeboat on my own. I made everything on my own, even the paddles, and I'm kind of a noob so much. The secret to, um, like, getting the generators working very well, well, the secret to making this go, like, the speed, which it can only go up to three knots, I do apologize. My error test, it went much faster, but I guess this is so big, it goes, this is how fast exactly it goes, so that kind of makes sense. The key to making it go as fast as possible is like stopping it for a hot minute for the generators to produce some more power. Cause just so you know, it uses lots of power. That was like at six, but now it's like nearly halfway. Again, I'm sorry it doesn't really go fast, but I try my best. I try my best, um, and I might work on it some more. We got a lifeboat here, but I think the davits were there, but I'm too lazy. Also, I'm fear it's gonna cause more weight problems, more weight issues, rather. And I didn't add a horn to this, which normally I would add a horn, but I was assuming it would be more like a train whistle, and there's no, a train whistle doesn't exist on this game, so I felt adding the game horn to this would make it too rather unrealistic. As you can see, we got light, and then we got scuttle, throttle, and rudder. Um, there's our time thus far and we have ballots and capstans and then the little mass right here I've detailized this as much as possible it is a WIP 
Um, just so you know. So, it might change. And then, you go down here, to the interior. We have, this is actually the funnel. And, we are in the staircase. Not the best, but it's like in 1810s. It was built in like 18... 19 what can you expect but you got the staircase i didn't really add that many lights because i thought it would defeat the purpose because it was built like before light bulbs um before electric light bulbs were invented by thomas edison so yeah this is the one of the stairwells and then here you got the dining saloon look at this and this is skyla as well there's two stairwells on one in the back and one in the front not including this one for a reason um but we had over here we have the smoking room, and when it says smoking room slash staircase, staircase, smoking room, that makes sense. But, yeah, though, this is the smoking room. You got a table right here, and seats. <laughs> I also add some details here, because why not? I try and make it as yacht-like as possible. Um, and then here, you have another stairwell. Um, there's a reason for it, though. And then you have the lounge. Look at this. Very, very detailed. That's supposed to be a fireplace, a clock, and seats, tables. And for people I've already subscribed to this, like within hours, so thank you for subscribing to this build. And I encourage everyone else to subscribe to this, especially if you're a fan of, like, steamships, like paddle steamers. You know? But, though. And hopefully it doesn't capsize, because sometimes it can easily capsize. Um, and yeah, it looks awesome. Again, not really fast. That's probably like the only problem that I have to deal with. The speed. Well, so normally, um, ironically enough, it's like normally, ideally, the, the weight I have to worry about. Anyhow, though, we go down here. We have the hallway of cabins of death <laughs> but seriously let's be real this is a hallway of cabins they're all the same so we'll only pick on one of them and we'll do another one on the back because you'll see why yeah though this is a cabin there's a bed i tried adding a bit more um i really want to add more but i didn't realize this is all i'm gonna add because I, I had to put like two beds in each of them because it said there will be two beds in each cabin. The source I got that from was Wikipedia. Yeah, I trust Wikipedia. Deal with it. I think it was. it's like the only website that shows the interiors of the savannah. Well, describes the interiors of the savannah. Anyhow, though, you got crew only search cabin hallway, which we went to. This is your steam valves. What's that? Turn your paddles. Not really. It's actually a bit higher. Here, if you look see but we'll pretend that they're actually moving it I made lots of adjustments to the paddles and it should be completely fine as long as the generator doesn't run out of fuel because if it runs out of fuel yeah right and as you can see there's no lights here I decided not to add lights um, in the crew only areas Whatever, they can suffer with the flashlight of death. <laughs> and then, same here, with this cabin. And now, we go down here, to the blue light boiler room. Don't worry about that, it's totally not something that can sink the ship, it's just there to exist. <laughs> but look at this though, it's a boiler, you got water, or your quote-unquote battery, and then... He got the boiler temperature, fire damper, or pan boiler, which does also activate pumps. Um, and then the fire boiler. Anyhow, though, we go here, and just so you know, that's the only boiler to exist. We go into the aft cargo hold, and we have a. Yeah, an aft cargo hold. <laughs> Anyhow, though, we go back here. This is your steering gear. This is a second option if you'd like to steer the ship. This is a second way you may steer the ship if you'd like to. 
and if we try to turn our straw board, we can turn our straw board. Now I have seen a ship that went the speed before. The Edmund, this Edmund Fitzgerald, I can't remember who it was made by, but I tried it. Um, and the reason why I got was uh, I watched a YouTube video of it. And yeah, so yeah, and this goes three knots. It might go slower. Once a journey runs out of fuel, you're screwed for good. I do apologize. Um, cause then you're all of a sudden gonna run out of so much battery, you're stranded. So again, I do apologize. H however, though, here we are. <laughs> We're turning how's a starboard if we would like to. Hopefully, oh, capsize. I have two stabilizers. Hence why I have this, the existence of this, this little area, this little small thingy. Because I don't want you guys to see the stabilizers. That will kind of um, defeat the purpose. As in adding a propeller to make it go a bit faster. It would kind of defeat the purpose, you know. I really just wanted to use paddles. Not because I'm too lazy, because again, I didn't want to defeat the purpose. Um, anyhow though, you got the four cargo hold, um, sadly though, you have to, <laughs> there's really no cargo hold, so, well, there's really no cargo hatch, so, um, it's gonna be a bit of a pickle to carry a cargo in here. Let's always put up on deck for one, it's completely fine for me, you don't have to use this, cause, yeah, I, without doubt, understand. <laughs> And the other, you got the fireman and co worker bunks. Look at this, it's the fireman and co worker bunks. There's two co workers for fireman. And I believe that is all of the ship. As we have completed the whole entire thing, which was quick. I thought it would be way longer, but probably because I didn't go in all the cabins. And yes, believe it or not, I have act. This is actually a ship of mine. I have actually built the ship all by myself. Totally didn't steal anybody's things. I made everything from the hands of me. So, what do you think about it? Does it does it satisfy you, rather? Wait. Oh no. Wait. Wait. Whoa. What? We're listening. Oh no 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 no! Gosh dang it, Savannah, you're listening. This is so embarrassing. It's like a YouTube video. She's more or less upside down. Are you kidding me? What? Are you? <laughs> Why? Why, ship? Oh yeah, go ahead. Blood your interiors. Why don't you? Hold on, I'm gonna get a new ship as long as the game doesn't crash, please don't crash, please don't crash, please don't crash. Okay, oh goodness. It always crashes, just so you know. Sorry about that, totally won't happen again, it's probably because the steering. Look, I adjusted, like, that freaking, that freaking stabilizer. I just this pit so freaking much. There's so many, like one one, and like a million zeros. And despite this, somehow we're literally just capsizing, even if we're moving. We're even moving. I mean, I guess we're moving slowly, but surely as heck, surely that is for sure. Anyhow, though, here we go. We are moving out of port once again. Totally not gonna sink again. And if we do, um, don't blame me. Blame the game. Don't blame the ship. Actually, kind of blame the ship, but mostly blame the game. But blah blah blah. Mostly blame the game because it's silly. At least we got a lifeboat here, so that's something. So this is as a Savannah number two. Look at those paddles. The return work man size is coming up and then going down. Coming up and going down. <laughs> I like it. It's just hilarious. Anyhow, though, like, on board a luxury ship like this, what could possibly go, really? There's a tsunami. Are you kidding me? 
Ah, oh, rip ship two. Rip, just rip ship two. Uh, yeah, I can start a reverse gear anyways. Never mind, I guess we're gonna have to go for it one way or another. First of all though, close this door. This is the only way war can get in there. And I am not satisfied about that. I don't like that. Remember how I tried the PAL steamer, um, Canopus and Steam Boy? Steam Boy, that was like a comedy one. That was like a parody one. Yeah. Um, I decided this because why not? Because some tests inspired me to do this. Anyway, so I should be freaking out because the tsunami. Ugh, just again. <laughs> We're gonna die again. Well. I'm gonna survive, but my shit's gonna sink again. I just want to survive. Cause it easily capsizes. Wah. See, we're rolling over again. Wasn't my ship's going completely upside down? I even have stabilized. That doesn't make any sense. How does that make sense if my ship goes completely upside down, yet I have stabilizers? That, that is just weird. Since hates me so much, just saying. Anyway, so okay. Well, that's the thing. Um. Whoa! What fire? Are you kidding me? So first, it's just rolling over for no absolute reason whatsoever. At least with the, the tour. And second, it's literally a fire. And not only capsizing by a tsunami. Your fault, Tsunami. Thank you for going away. We're on fire as well. <sighs> Get out, Savannah 3, please. Right, this one should not sink. And if it does, because... I don't know. The universe is a jerk. Oh, my God. <sighs> Get Savannah 4! Alright. Uh, can I just get on the paddle this time without falling? Alright, thank god. Right! No, that's a. Uh. Why did I do this? Why did I simulate this? <laughs> it's like one problem after another. Never mind the lights. It's just some lights are automatically on. I put constant sound signals on them. Just so you know. We got pumps on, rod on, the generator on, or boiler, I guess. The first time he's a. Uh, Large engine, just saying. And now, we have the steam valves. You can turn them on, even without the boiler on. But, like, suit yourself, because it's gonna... Okay, why am I going backwards? And, like, it's just gonna run the battery completely down. There will be a little bit of battery left if you have the generator on. But, if you don't have it on, it's gonna run the battery completely down, and you'll be at, you'll actually be at zero. Hence the boiler, and my suggestion that you turn it on. Anyhow, though, nothing should go wrong this time. Hopefully, at least. Ah! I did it! It's a stupid storm, and now we're. Oh, come on! It's like my fort Savannah. I've gone now. It's my own. And it's failing me. Idiot, what happens if I do this? I'm gonna regard this. Also, I should have this. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. No. oh. Just so you know, I'm dead lucky. If that had not been a thing, I would. Okay, Savannah 5, I guess. Good. In a storm, why? This is gonna be ugly. Savannah six, getting out Savannah six is inevitable. I'm gonna go for seven Savannahs because I believe in the lucky number seven. Match. Right. It's gonna turn on the light switch. So see, turn on flashlight because the lights besides the boiler lights um down here do not exist. 
Alright, um... Go ahead, get the thing moving. And yep, we're off. Again. After... I accidentally pressed star. Oh, no. oh come on! <laughs> Stupid store! Alright, get the span of six out. Alright, the storm has finally calmed down. That is sure as heck something. Let's try that again. Sorry for that, it's because of the stupid, stupid storm. Um, in this stupid, stupid video, I never had to give the ship so many chances before. Uh, but I try, okay? I'm do I do s apologize, it like capsizes easily, as my other ships do, and I don't know how. Like, I even have stabilizers, I have everything. And I adjust the pits as much as possible, yet it goes completely upside down somehow. I don't get it. It's, it doesn't make sense, but okay. I, I guess. Right. We are moving again for the only time in a row, the sixth time, to count off. And we should not be sinking this time. It's only no way we're going to do the sinky, sinky, sinky. So you can see there's life, but just so you know, yet yeah, it is actually operable, though not by it, not dab it wise, but push wise, pushing wise. Um, you can see that skylight, you can see the dining saloon, the lovely grand, grande, Ariana Grande dining saloon. <laughs> Ariana Grande dining saloon, why did they say that? Anyhow, though, let's check the boiler room, make sure it's not doing any tricks with it, likes it, or it doesn't. Um, wait. I said that wouldn't do anything. Oh god, shut the damper. For it could explode a second. Temperature's going up. It's a thing. And we should probably not worry about. Don't worry. Totally not gonna worry about lights to stay on though. I'm um, just saying now. Right. Um, just go on here. It should probably be fine. The boiler room's flooding, but. Uh. Close this. Just hit close this. But oh no. I kinda got a bad feeling about this. What's the temperature? Uh, um, pardon Oh, <laughs> pardon Oh, come on! It's waves every single stupid time you have to sink the ship. I don't care anymore. I've got to escape this raging inferno. I'm done. I said seven, but I'm giving it six chances because clearly I don't think seven's going to be the lucky number this time. And then any time. Whoa. Open that boiler. Whoa. What? Um, okay. And. I knew this was gonna happen. Because I'm a disaster myself, as I am always. I sink every single ship I touch. Um, I shouldn't be trusted. The boiler room's flooding. Kidding me? Oh no, we're sinking again. Well, as long as there's a tsunami, it should be fine. Yeah, as long as we get on deck. Oh, is that a tsunami for me on the horizon? Ha! <sighs> Excuse me, I need to scream a bit. Nah, I don't think I need to. Um, cause clearly I'm not allowed to show my creations every single time I do. The game always condemns me to failure of trying to sail them. I gave it so many chances to prove itself on camera. A million, like, six chances. Oh, there's a Meg on the left. You can see. The there's a Meg. Are you kidding me? Okay, let's get worse. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> you 
<laughs> well, here's a tsunami. You want a tsunami? You got a tsunami. Yo, you're, oh, you're showing off your ship. Oh, here, I suggest you um, have a tsunami. A salami tsunami. Oh yeah, why don't you roll? Why don't you roll, Chef? Well, you can roll all rock. Yeah, and yeah, go ahead. Go completely underwater, why don't you? You're so precious. Oh yeah, come out of the water in the fanciest way possible. Fanciest, fanciest way possible. Oh yeah, why not? And then just go up, say doopsie, upside down. <sighs> well, I give up on life. Um, I am now the capsized Savannah Hobbit. I am not allowed to show my creations. I give this many chances, prove itself. And every single time, it just fails on me. Gosh dang it. Gosh dang it. And I am one whiffed. I am one with the sunken ships. And there's a life out there that didn't even survive. Are you kidding me? Yeah, this thing has a very round hole though. I shouldn't have done that. Perhaps that was kind of the problem to why it keeps capsizing. I like the bottom green hole though. I really like it actually. Um, but I don't like the fact it's sinking and it's kind of going underwater and it's on fire and it's turning that time so it gets darker. And not only that, the lights are dimmer because the power's went down. Dang, mom. She always. She always ruins my clips. Well, my videos. Anyways, though, she's just going underwater. And yeah, not only that, there's. I may coming, of course. Why not? Like, as I'm not allowed to show my creations. Clearly, frankly, that's the game's opinion on my creations of sunken ship hobbits. Like, habits. It has a habit and the hobbit on sinking ships. And. This has been the Savannah, everybody. The failure, the mistake of all ships, clearly. I just wanted to cross the Atlantic Ocean, but I didn't even, well, I kind of did, but at the same time, I technically, I didn't leave port. So, yeah, let's just say that I didn't even leave port yet. And I've sunken already, and I just, I literally wanted to cross the Atlantic Ocean. It's about to be 30 minutes in this video, because I make them so dang long. Um, so, this has been the Savannah, everybody. The failure, the impending of all failures. If you enjoyed, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And thank you all for watching. Um, if you want the ship, which, just so you know, I have. This is actually a ship I made. I built the ship on my own. Everything I built. Like, there will be a link in the description down below if you want to be an idiot and you want to die. If you like to die, I recommend turning up the waves um, 100% and making sure it capsizes with it like so it doesn't. Um, anyhow though, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And... Um, goodbye, Savannah. Goodbye, um, beanie bearded man. And I will see you later, everybody. Bye bye.